We all know those kitchens you see online. Those kitchens that when you open the fridge or the pantry doors, you go, wow, they have their life together. Well, in the beginning of 2022, I decided it was time to do a full reset of my space, and I am starting by making my kitchen look like that kitchen. So I sat down and did my research and found what organizing systems would work best for me. Then I made a plan, made a mood board, and ordered all the materials and got started. The first step in any reorganizing project is to clean and purge. Go through everything you have and get rid of what you no longer need and use. And make sure to clean up to start with a tidy workspace. To set myself up for success, in my plan, I divided my kitchen up into seven different sections. The sink, pantry cabinets, above the fridge cabinet, pleats cabinet, drawers, under counter cabinet, and most importantly, the fridge. So with my plan set, my space purged and organized, and each section divided out, it was finally time to dive in to the first section, the sink. I started the sink area by installing this stick-on paper towel holder. Very easy to install, sturdy, and keeps my paper towels off the counter. I then installed these under cabinet LED lights. I really care about the lighting in my spaces, so I wanted to find a way to add in some additional lighting since my kitchen doesn't get any sunlight. This three pack was only $30 on Amazon and was so easy to install. They come with a remote or rechargeable instead of running off batteries and have a few different modes. You can either keep them always on or off or the night mode turns them into motion sensor. I am not kidding. As soon as I installed these, I was so giddy. I feel like they beautifully elevate the space. Then I installed the Revashelf hardware to create new sink storage. I'll show you the results at the end of the video. Finally, it was time to address under the sink. First, I needed to fully empty everything out and spray and scrub everything down. Time to assemble. I used a tension rod across the top to hang spray bottles, keeping them off the ground and utilizing the vertical space. A bin to contain backstock and cleaning materials, and then I used these stackable drawers. They each get their own category of stuff. One is miscellaneous, then another are these reusable cleaning wipes. Then I have other kitchen towels. And lastly, we have leftover sponges. Make sure that you put things that you don't use as often in the back and things that you use more often towards the front. Another bin to hold more frequently used cleaning items as well as trash bags. I just took the roll out of the box. Then I use a paper bag to contain my recycling. And just like that, the sink section is done. Less stuff on the countertop makes it look a lot neater. And then all of the under cabinet area looks so much more clean and organized and functional. Now I can actually access the things that I need. The pantry cabinets look cluttered and crowded and I want to clean them up and better utilize the space, so I decided to splurge and get these OXO pop lid containers I've been seeing everywhere. This part took a lot of shuffling around until I got it the way I wanted, but instead of showing you the mess, here's some satisfying video stocking up the containers to inspire your organizing project. When it came time to assemble, I put things I don't use often on the top shelves, but in bins so I can reach what's at the back of the shelf. I then put all of the grains, pasta, noodles, and some nutritional yeast along the middle shelf, all in the containers to make it visually uniform. The bottom shelf, I put more snacking food like chips and crackers, as well as some cans, these seaweed snacks I can't get enough of, and my favorite dried spiced pineapple. 
I just made a stupid mistake. This cabinet was right here and I was in a rush and I tried to walk past. Look at that. I walked straight into this. It hurts so bad. Please be careful while reorganizing. Apparently it's a contact sport. Time to stock the next cabinet. this cabinet I put extra baking and cooking ingredients I don't use as often on the top shelf. This means sugars, flour, baking powder, that kind of stuff. The middle shelf I put things I very frequently use like protein powder. If you're watching my 50 day challenge you know I use these almost daily. On the right I have a Tupperware system, small, medium, and large containers that all use the same size lid. I got this from my grandma but I'll link a similar one in the caption because this is a lifesaver for leftovers and prepping dinner. Next I have a Lazy Susan for sauces a tray for salts and peppers. Then I have another Lazy Susan for spices that I did my best to organize alphabetically. I like these Lazy Susans because you don't end up burying anything at the back of the cabinet where you can't reach it. Now everything is less cluttered and looks a lot better. Above the fridge currently has no purpose other than holding random stuff I don't know what else to do with, but there is so much room I need to utilize it. I got two adjustable tray organizers to organize reusable bags on the left, and then the trays and pans on the right. Behind these is empty space that I can use for unused vases and decorations. The top of the plates cabinet, I put back stock tea, coffee, paper goods, thermoses, and glassware that I don't use as often. The entire middle shelf is drinkware. All the glasses are on the left side, and then I put all of my mugs on the right. I even added a metal shelf to add more height and storage for all of my mugs. Then I did the same thing on the bottom shelf for my plates, so I could stack the smaller plates and bowls on their own surface, and the right side gets the rest of the various bowls I use. Next are the drawers. I'm gonna move some stuff from one drawer to another, so first step was to fully empty out and clean both of the drawers, which I admittedly have not done since I moved in. The second drawer is currently that one drawer in my apartment where I just throw random stuff so everything needed to come out, get sorted, and wiped down. silverware drawer, I want to avoid the piles of silverware falling over and collapsing onto each other, so instead I'm storing them sideways. That way they stay put and don't mix together. Thank you TikTok for that hack. <laughs> All my knives have covers so I can safely put them in the last compartment and along the side, and then I have chopsticks and scissors. In the back space, I'm putting kitchen tools I don't use as often, like the peeler and can opener. For this second drawer, I want to turn it into a tea station rather than a junk drawer. So I'm going to use these drawer organizers to contain small items. Zip ties and clips go in one container and chip clips go in another. Next, I have a container for stevia. This next divider will hold all of the different individually wrapped tea bags that I have. A pop lid container of hot chocolate, reusable straws, and napkins finish off the drawer. The under counter cabinet looked a lot worse than it really was. It really just needed a light reorganizing. All I really did was I prioritized the items that I use much more often by putting them towards the front, and then I got a shelf divider to keep the extra Tupperware lids neat. Now I have so much more space down there and it's not cluttered. Finally, the fridge. This is the part in any goal-worthy kitchen that always looks the best and most impressive. All the fruits and veggies you can display can make it really colorful, but most of the time my fridge looks 
dull, disorganized, and half the time I don't even know what I have. First step was to fully empty it to see what I was working with. I fully cleaned it all out and scrubbed it down. Then it was time for the super satisfying part of stocking it up. I start my day with lemon water so I have an entire container of lemons, my Brita filter and ice green tea go on the top shelf. I kept all the produce out of the drawers and put them on display instead, it also keeps me thinking healthy. I put everything in these clear containers so I can easily see what I have and it keeps it colorful. Using a bin in the drawer helps break up the space and contain smaller produce. Uh, I also keep my bread in the fridge to keep it from going bad too quickly since I live alone. <laughs> The next drawer is where I put the cheese and any protein sources. Now it's time for the fridge door. The main top shelf I designated as drinks, so that would be almond milk, juices, and these canned teas and coffee. The next shelf down I have all of my condiments which always look so cluttered so I didn't want them in the main line of sight but still within easy reach when I open the door. Next I put a whole shelf of seltzer waters. And finally the bottom is mixers for cocktails. And look at that! Now when I open my fridge it's so colorful and vibrant and makes me so happy every time I open the door. I have a main shelf open for leftover containers and I even made sure to leave the bottom drawer free for when I buy ingredients for a big special dinner. I think it is safe to say I have reached that level of fridge. With everything organized, it is now time for one final clean, spraying everything down and adding in those last minute touches. is now done. Now I want to go through and kind of show you some of my favorite things that I did uh, and just highlight some of the things that have been 
absolute lifesavers or those little like tricks or hacks that you can do. Don't mind my bumped head. As you saw earlier in the video, I hit it on this lovely door right here. because it... um, So I advise caution <laughs> while doing this. So one feature that I absolutely love are these Reva shelves that I installed. They just tilt forward like this. And now all of these things that used to be on my sink are hidden away. Now, I didn't realize that I could install these. I thought that it just had to come that way, but these are just panels. Now, I will say when they do close, they are unfortunately crooked. However, that was due to the fact that when I went to install the Revishelf hardware, all of the holes were already pre-drilled. So someone had already installed them and I guess a previous renter. And so they were installed crooked, <laughs> um, but I didn't want to drill new holes because it would only be like slightly off. So anyway, we're dealing with that. But this is also nice because it has this so that I could put my rings here, washing dishes, and then they're out of the way. Just close that. This, I mean, this just saved my cabinets. If you notice, these are pushed to the front. There's all that empty space. I will probably go and get kind of like back stock for all the different grains and things. And like, I'll just put behind, you won't even be able to see it. It'll still look nice and organized, but that is how much more space I now have in my cabinets from just organizing it. Same goes for in here. This is my protein powder and PB fit, which if you guys have been watching my 50 day challenge videos, I use these like every day for protein shakes. And now I can just grab, bring it down, pop it off. It's so easy. I love it. This I've had since I moved in and I would honestly highly recommend this for Tupperware because organized, there is no good way to organize Tupperware other than this. This is like the best way I've seen in a small space. Now I didn't show you guys what's in this cabinet. This cabinet is back stock. So I sort of just shove stuff in there. Um, I think it's important to have one cabinet where you have back stock to refill. Just leave that there. Now, again, with the whoever installed cabinets in this place like doesn't own a level, apparently. I tried to fix it, but turns out I am just gonna have to drill new holes. Okay, now for probably my favorite gadget that I got for this newly organized kitchen. I have the remote for it right up here on the wall. These have made a world of a difference. First of all, the lighting really just brings the kitchen to life. It has different settings. So I can set it to, right now it's always on, but I can also dim it. I can even dim it more if I wanted to or make it brighter. Then I could set it to day mode is a motion sensor when it senses light and motion or night mode, which is when it senses darkness and motion. So we can turn that on. And then if I wave my hand there, it turns on. They attach via these magnetic strips. So I can just clip it on like that or take it off. And then of course there is the fridge. I cannot tell you how encouraging this is to eat healthy. Like when I open the fridge and I see this, I'm looking for a snack. I have celery, grapes, cucumbers, raspberries, apples, all sitting right there. So easy to look in here and go, okay, what healthy choices am I gonna make today? It's also so colorful. So that is the kitchen. As you probably tell, I still have a lot of work ahead of me to organize the rest of my apartment. My living room has kind of been the base for all of the clutter and craziness. Now that the kitchen is done, I am so optimistic for how I'm going to be feeling once my entire space is fully organized. If you have been following me along this full journey, this is the space reset. I also have the mindset reset of the 50 day challenge that I've been doing. I am now officially halfway through that. The two going hand in hand is really proving my idea that when your space is organized and functional, your mindset and your productivity is better for it. I'm very excited to continue this process. I'm excited to give you guys hopefully some guidance or inspiration to organize your own space. Next week's video is going to be weeks three and four of the 50 day challenge. The video after that will be me organizing this giant storage closet, which I'm gonna warn you right now, you do not wanna see the inside of, it looks it's a disaster. Thank you so much for watching. If you're enjoying this process and want to follow more 
organizing or mindset reset inspiration, please hit that subscribe button so that you can follow along this journey with me. I'm really glad that you guys are here watching and I'm really optimistic for an incredible 2022. I will see you next week. Remember to keep smiling. Bye.